Ship 44 disappeared from SpaceX's production line in August, while ships 40, 41, 42, 43, and 45 through 48 raced toward completion with tiles installed and payload sections attached. Ship 44 sits unchanged for four months now. What's SpaceX hiding inside that hull? They need HLS test flights in 2026 if Artemis III has any chance of landing humans on the moon in 2027, and pulling Ship 44 in August gives them exactly one year to build the crew compartment and life support systems. Could this frozen starship be NASA's lunar lander? Let me walk you through why this matters more than any other starship sitting at Starbase right now. SpaceX's production floor tells a story. Ship 40 stands complete with its full tile blanket gleaming under the bay lights, already mated to its payload section. Ship 41 mirrors that progress, tiles installed, waiting only for its nose cone. Ship 42 follows the same pattern, though interior systems like COPVs and plumbing still need installation. Then, ships 43, 45, 46, 47, and 48 fill out the lineup, each at various stages of completion. That's eight starships actively progressing through SpaceX's assembly line right now, nearly double what they launched in all of 2024. And then there's Ship 44, sitting exactly where SpaceX placed it in August. No new tiles, no payload section progress, no visible changes at all for four months straight. Here's what makes this pattern impossible to ignore. SpaceX doesn't pause production without reason. Their entire philosophy centers on rapid iteration and continuous improvement. Every ship teaches them something for the next one. Every delay costs money and momentum, so when a starship gets pulled from the fastest production pipeline in aerospace history and sits untouched while eight others race past it, something significant is happening behind those bay doors. Now let's talk timelines, because this is where Ship 44's story intersects with NASA's most critical deadline in decades. SpaceX launched twice in 2023, Flight Test 1 in April and Flight Test 2 in November, seven months between attempts. In 2024, they accelerated to four launches, spanning flights 3 through 6, March to November. Then 2025 brought five launches with flights 7 through 11. The pattern shows incremental growth, 2 to 4 to 5. Conservative estimates put 2026 at seven launches, maybe 10 if everything breaks their way. Seven launches means one starship every 1.7 months. Count forward from January 2026, and Flight 17 lands somewhere in July or August. Ship 44 sits 17th in the production sequence. The math lines up almost too perfectly. But here's the piece that turns speculation into probability. NASA's Artemis III mission, the one that puts American boots back on lunar soil for the first time since 1972, is scheduled for 2027. Not 2028. Not eventually. 27 months from right now. And that mission cannot happen without SpaceX's human landing system passing a full test campaign in 2026. Think about what that actually means. SpaceX needs to build a vehicle that's fundamentally different from every starship they've flown. No heat shield covering the hull because it's never coming back through Earth's atmosphere. A complete crew compartment with life support, sleeping quarters, airlocks, and all the systems needed to keep astronauts alive for days in lunar orbit and on the surface. That compartment sits in the nose and the payload section below it, exactly the areas where Ship 44 would need the most extensive internal modifications. SpaceX released renders of this configuration. The WA team turned those renders into animations months ago. We know what they need to build. A starship that can refuel in orbit, coast to the moon, 
land astronauts and serve as their habitat until Orion returns to pick them up. Every system must work flawlessly because there's no abort to Earth option once you're in lunar orbit. Building that from scratch takes time, real time. Not the three-month sprint SpaceX is attempting with Booster 19, but serious engineering time to integrate systems that have never flown together before. Pulling Ship 44 in August 2024 gives them exactly 12 months before a July 2026 test flight. One year to validate life support integration, structural modifications for the crew compartment, long-duration fuel storage, and dozens of other critical systems that separate a cargo starship from a vehicle rated to carry humans to another world. And SpaceX knows they can't afford to miss this window. NASA's already pushing Artemis three schedules. The Orion hatch issue that delayed their countdown demonstration isn't catastrophic, but it's symptomatic of how tight these margins are. Every month that passes without HLS test data is another month closer to admitting 2027 won't work. That's why Ship 44 sitting motionless makes perfect sense. While ships 40 through 48 race toward LEO test flights, ship 44 is being transformed into something far more complex. The tiles we can't see being installed might be minimal, just enough for the areas that need thermal protection during launch and lunar operations. The payload section we don't see attached might be completely custom, built to house astronauts instead of satellites. SpaceX's silence on Ship 44 also fits this theory. They're not exactly shy about sharing progress on standard starships. We see updates on every other ship almost weekly. But HLS, that's a NASA contract with different disclosure rules. That's a program where premature announcements could create political complications or unrealistic expectations. Better to work quietly until there's actual hardware to show. Consider what Ship 44 needs to prove if this theory holds. It needs to demonstrate that SpaceX can modify Starship's basic architecture without compromising structural integrity. It needs to show that crew systems can be integrated into a vehicle designed primarily for cargo. It needs to validate that Starship can perform long-duration missions in deep space, not just the few hours their current test flights last. And it needs to do all of this while meeting NASA's human rating requirements, which are exponentially more stringent than anything SpaceX has faced with Dragon. Meanwhile, Booster 19 is proving something else entirely. SpaceX didn't slow down after whatever happened to Booster 18. They're building Booster 19 as a near-identical copy, racing to stack it before year's end. That's a three-week timeline for a vehicle that previously took three months. The message is clear. Booster 18's issue wasn't a design flaw requiring extensive rework. It was likely a component failure or assembly error, something fixable without redesigning the entire booster. This aggressive pace on Booster 19 frees up engineering resources, resources that could focus on Ship 44's unique challenges it also confirms SpaceX's confidence in their Block 3 design, which is critical because HLS will use that same basic architecture. Ship 39 is days away from cryo-proof testing, setting up a late January or early February launch window for Flight 12. That keeps the production line moving, generating data and flight experience that feeds directly into HLS development. Every landing attempt teaches them about propellant management. Every re-entry provides thermal protection data. Every flight proves systems that HLS will need. But Ship 44 doesn't need to prove those things. Ship 44 needs to prove it can keep astronauts alive in the most hostile environment humans have ever worked in continuously since Apollo. That's a different mission entirely, and it requires different testing different timelines, and different priorities. So is Ship 44 really the first HLS starship? The evidence stacks up compellingly. The timeline fits.
The production pause makes sense. The mission requirements demand it, and NASA's Artemis schedule leaves no room for delays. What happens if we're right? Ship 44 rolls out of the Star Factory sometime in 2026, looking radically different from its siblings. Where ships 40 to 48 gleam with black tiles, ship 44 might show bare steel or minimal thermal protection. Where others have smooth payload fairings, ship 44 could sport airlocks and windows. The first images would confirm what the pause suggested all along. SpaceX is building humanity's next lunar lander right now, hidden in plain sight among a fleet of test vehicles. And what happens if we're wrong? Then Ship 44 eventually rejoins the production line with modifications we haven't predicted yet. Maybe it's a testbed for Starship V-4 systems. Maybe it's being converted to a propellant depot demonstrator. Maybe SpaceX hit a design issue that required pulling the vehicle for extensive rework. But here's what we know for certain. SpaceX must start building HLS now. The calendar is unforgiving. The contract requirements are clear. And Ship 44 is sitting there, waiting for a purpose we can only see the edges of. So here's where we stand. Ship 44 vanished from SpaceX's production line in August and hasn't moved since. Eight other starships race toward launch pads while this one sits frozen. The timeline places it at Flight 17 in July or August 2026, exactly when NASA needs HLS test flights if Artemis III has any shot at 2027. Pulling it 12 months early gives SpaceX the time they need to build the crew compartment, integrate life support, and validate systems that have never flown together before. The evidence points one direction. SpaceX must start building the lunar lander now. The calendar doesn't allow delays. And Ship 44 is sitting there, waiting for a purpose that makes every other starship look like a warm-up act. This isn't just another test flight we're watching develop. This is the vehicle that could carry astronauts back to the moon for the first time in over 50 years. That's the mission hiding behind those bay doors right now. What do you think? Is Ship 44 really transforming into NASA's lunar lander? Or is SpaceX planning something else entirely? Drop your theory in the comments below. I read every single one. If this analysis brought you value, hit that like button. Share this with anyone who's been wondering what SpaceX is actually building right now. And subscribe to Atlas Space because we're tracking every development as Ship 44's story unfolds. We'll know the truth soon enough. The hardware doesn't lie. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.